everyone, welcome to my channel, The Salty Life. I'm doing my first water change on the Copa Pod culture today. It's been up and running well over a month and there has been a boom in populations to say the least. Check this out. So many little Copa Pods. They are breeding like mad. I'm so happy this is working and it's been successful so far. So back to our water change. Let's start with things that you will need to do your water change on your culture. Your culture, obviously, a empty plastic container or bowl. I recommend something you will be able to see the pods in. A copa pod sieve, some paper towel, and some freshly mixed salt water. I run my salinity at 1.025 and I use a refractometer to keep it accurate. Once you have all your things in place and ready to go, you will first want to empty one third of the current water that's in your culture into the empty container or bowl. Then comes the fun part. Using your copepod sieve, you want to catch all the remaining copepods that are in your culture container and put them in the bowl with the other pods. Try and catch all of the copepods. It's actually easier than I thought. You will notice when the net has literally one or two pods left on it, you're pretty much done. So for the remaining few, do a little harvesting. Put your last few scoops in your aquarium. Using this method, I didn't lose any pods. I may have lost some eggs and you might possibly lose some too, but don't worry, they will be breeding again in no time. Once you've caught all of them, you can throw away the old remaining water that's in your culture and clean the container out. I know it's obvious, but do not use soap. Just use RO water or tap water and a new sponge to clean all the muck away. Then just dry out the container with a paper towel Use this time to also make sure all the tubing is clean and not blocked with debris. Now we can empty the bowl of pods back into the culture container and fill the container back to the line we drew when we first set up our culture with freshly mixed salt water. Add some phytoplankton to the water between one and a half to two millilitres of feed. And that's it. The pods are in clean water, fed and ready to get back to their breeding behaviours. I know a few of my followers are also following along with this guide and have started a pod culture of their own. I would love to hear how yours is getting on. Please let me know in the comments below. In the next video, I will be doing my first harvest and can't wait. If anyone has any questions or feedback, feel free to comment. If you like this video and it helped you in some way, click the thumbs up. And if you want to join me on my salty journey, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.